You're gonna go out and plant some stuff? Fabulous outfit I've got here, my quarantine. <laughs> hate the fashion. My quarantine Just the hate the fashion. Where I love just to wear my sweatpants. Oh my God. I'm going to plant some bunching onions, mm -hmm. some cilantro, and some snow peas. Just directly into the raised buds. Yay. What are you gonna do with the plastic? I'm gonna pull it back where I need it. Smart. I'm gonna pull it back right. on the two places. Whew, it's a little bit colder out here than I thought it was gonna be. So the trellis that I'm gonna use is this one up here. I actually want a trellis, um, several. I wanna trellis um, my cucumbers, and I wanna try, um, I don't know if that's good or not, hold on. I wanna trellis cucumbers, but I also saw somewhere online that you can trellis tomatoes, like the vine tomatoes, the, I believe it's inter, interdermin or whatever those are called. Um, not the bush ones, but the ones that are like the vines that the market growers use. So I might try that this year and see what happens, but I'm just gonna pull this back and plant my snow peas and then I'm gonna plant onions on that side and cilantro on this side. Oh, I didn't turn you guys down there, but I planted a bunch of onions on that side, cilantro on this side, and peas, oh, you know what, I may as well do peas over here too. You need some? You're a very beautiful cat. Yes, you are a good boy. Is that not enough? Is that not enough love? Is that not enough love? Sure, all hairy. That's enough. I don't want to get all hairy. Like that. <laughs> All right, that's it. It just took me, what, 10 minutes to do that? Oh, just I get a chew toy. Quick, he's not supposed to be eating a dry ball. Trainer told us to switch it out with a chew toy. Hey, we're at a loss without a chew toy, guys. You got it, Josiah? Okay, so get him excited about that. Oh, Teddy, come on. Good. Teddy, Teddy. All right, now take the dry ball. He's not really. Like... Take the dry ball. Okay. Good. Put this back where it belongs. I took him outside when he woke up at 5.40. Josiah took him out at 7. Joni, you're gonna take him out at 8. Every hour, on the hour, outside. No more poo-poos and pee-pees in here. Alarm set. Good, it's good, he's, he's chewing his horn. It's good. We had a little problem last night. Oh, yeah. Hamburger got out, got nursing his mama. And we, we got to bed by 10 o'clock. Tell him. Moose got out. <laughs> well, ham, hamburger ran, he got out, nursed, then they were all riled up, so they jumped. Yep. He jumped back in, they were riled up again, so then hamburger jumped out and Moose followed. So what's the problem with Moose getting out? Uh, we're winning him. Yeah, and, he, and what happened when Moose got out? He went straight to nursing. <laughs> So we're basically starting over again. We tried to nurse Flossie. Two to three months, he's got to stay separated. So, to solve the problem, we figured out what we uh, got Moose and Hamburger both in the stall. That's foolproof. And we figured out what's wrong with the fence. Oh, how long did it take us to fix that fence? Uh, well, we were out there until 9.30. It was probably an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, yeah. To fix the fences. We fixed both and the cow fence. The cow's heading at 6. Point something. Tell them what the sheep pen's getting at now. Ten? If we can't get these cows, calves, to stay in a fence with the sheep, that means we're gonna have to take them into the stall every night. Which is like, I like that idea. much more difficult. You like that? I love it. But what about when they're way out in the field? And here's the problem. You might like it and that's okay, but what do we do when we need a wee and a cow and a calf? Like, Moose. He can't be in the stall 24-7. Luchadors, we've got hundreds of blades in there. I don't think there's enough uh, space in there, honestly. So I'll go move the luchadors, you guys go bring the cows in, okay? You're prepared for the rain, aren't you? Hey, you staying dry? You guys staying dry? It's pouring down.
If you want, my man, you can take the umbrella. Yeah. I don't need it for the camera anymore. And take them some water. Okay. A little hardcore right there. <laughs> Chores, rain or shine, right, bro? Animals still gotta eat. Jonah! I told him like five times. Get us some alfalfa. Josiah didn't even take the umbrella. There's some slight work. Can you guys see from up there, even without the garage light? It's gonna get enough to get floppy. It's more than enough to flossy. Hopefully Jonah will show up before it's time to do Phyllis. The rain is great for our strawberries and asparagus newly planted. Hey, look who's here. You give me some alfalfa? Load that thing full of alfalfa? <laughs> is that because you don't like this job? Can he do it? No, you can do it. Come on. We're going to see if she's got my status. Just the Monday test. Alright, it all dissolved really quickly. Jonah! My timer just went off. Will you come, t come get this umbrella and take Teddy out, please? You just got to stop what you're doing. Oh, really? Well shoot, I've missed it by 20 minutes. It's definitely time to do it. Hey, take the umbrella. Cause I don't want Teddy to get wet. Thank you, and you might have to get the leash. Mike, I always have to. You'll have to, to keep him under the umbrella. Thank you. This morning I did it without a leash, and, and he just went to the bathroom. And he stayed near you? No, he just, he wandered off and went to the bathroom. That's good. He went right away when I took him out at 542, so. You took him out about seven, so he's going about every hour. Not as much as usual, but the calf did get a hold of her at nine-ish, 8.45-ish. So we probably only got a gallon and a quarter, maybe. Lily, pause the audio book for a second. Whoa. Lily, can you Yo. empty the dishwasher? Jonah, why are you not out with Teddy? Because he went. Where? He went like this. He doesn't do like that. He squats. He went. He went there. Stood there. Mama okay. says it was okay. Mama said. Okay, he did. so you peed him. Yeah. Lily, can you pause the audiobook, honey? Let's empty our eggs out in the sink, and we need to get the eggs that uh, Moose and Hamburger laid. Moose and Hamburger laid eggs. Yeah, you want to go see? You don't believe me? Go down to their stall. They got a clutch of eggs. Probably a dozen. You believe me? <laughs> the chicken, at the chicken stall? Yeah, hamburger and uh, moose laid some eggs. I guess they're cow eggs. You want to go see them? Some of these are dirty. We're going to need to wash. Some of them are clean. We can just store. Jonah, can you clean eggs? Yeah, I do anything to not be out there. <laughs> really? You'd rather clean poopy eggs. Did I bring the basket back? Gideon, will you go with me to get these uh, cow eggs? Yes, but okay. the darn eggs. Hey, Gideon, and you're next to take the dog, okay? I just realized I'm out of towels for drying off the stuff coming out of the cooler, the milks from coming out of the cooler. Nope. I guess they're all in there. Hey, kids! They really don't like this job. You can go throw calcium shell, you can go throw eggshells, or you can fold clothes. Here, help me load this, please. Thank you. Yeah, there's all our, here's all our towels for the milk. That'll solve my problem tomorrow, but not today. Maybe this will work. Yeah, that'll work. What's going on? We still arguing about the no. shells? No. Okay, so you're folding the clothes? And he's gonna, just add, yes, and just add okay. the shells. All right. This one. Uh oh, there's a few more spots, honey. Mm -hmm. That's better. She's gonna empty the dishwasher. She and Jonah are gonna fold clothes. Will you please take the eggshells? I already have the, I already, I already the I know, but just do the eggshells real quick and then go do your other chores. Josiah, you don't even have to fold your clothes. That's a good deal if you ask me. Turn our light on, brother. Uh, I'm off of it today. Off the game. We're supposed to come in with a load of ice packs. We're in the cool room.
take pressure off these coolers. And we'll get the milks out. 36 is freezing cold. Uh, it's almost freezing. Five. What about clothes? I thought you were going to fold clothes. Yes. I, I, my, I, get in, you have to help. Get in's in a pile. Yours in a pile, Lily's in a pile, and Josiah's in a pile, okay? And I fold them all. Well, not Gideon's, he needs to help. Okay, and not Lily's, she needs to help. But I'll fold your size. But yeah, fold your size. Alright, you're gonna help fold clothes, okay? He's gonna put yours in a pile. No! <laughs> we made that deal. No, what was the deal? I would, if you did this one, he would do that. No! You can come. You have been doing it so good. Come on. Good. Something about the thinner stanchion she's been getting out of better. I guess she went from first class to uh, coach. <laughs> you think I can get her cap without moose? Okay, you're right there. That's easy right now. Come on, before moose comes. Come. Good. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm scared of the umbrella. All right, did you get Flossie out? There it sits. Did he not? What's happened? Did I call him off this job? Josiah, do you know why the light doesn't work in here? No. I just realized Gideon needs to take the dog out. Hey, you're just the guy I need to talk to. It's time to take the dog out, okay? Come on, no, just now, did. just now. I already did, Papa. No, come on, please. You go in and get him since you're barefoot. Come back out with him, I'll, I'll show you what to do. Oh, look at these two. <laughs> you guys are adorable. Can you feed them real quick? Amanda and Royal are mousers. Gideon, you coming? You know what happened to Gideon? How long does it take to get a dog? So you're supposed to get the dog, come on. Did you get it and grab the leash, please? Okay, you're gonna, here, put the leash on him. I can't get out of him. Yes, Papa, yes, Papa. Say yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Good boy, okay. All right, get your umbrella. Hold him close to you, okay? Yeah, don't don't hold him all the way at the end. Hold him like right there. Okay. Okay. Good. Take him over by the tank. I can't. You're just gonna have to tug him. He's he's. he's he, thank you, big brother. It's gonna be a real pain at first. You don't want to go. You just gotta tug. There you go. Good boy. He doesn't know. Do you know how to watch for when he pees or poops? Come back over here. Now you just hang out with him. Hopefully you can. Do it close to where you can hold him with the umbrella. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Stand up. Okay. You can stand up. Okay? So like, just stand right here. Watch. Stand right oh here. Cool. Now hold the leash right here and he'll be under the okay. umbrella. Okay? Don't hold, don't let him go anywhere. Here. Hold the hold the leash right there. Good. Good. And he'll pause and that's when you know he's gonna pee. Mess. <laughs> Alright, come here. All right. You think? Yeah. No, he'll stop. Let me see this. I guess it doesn't matter if he gets wet. Just let him. He probably wants to walk around to pee. Yep. Look. Look. Just uh, take the leash off. Let's see what happens. There he's peeing. He's peeing. He's peeing. Good job, Gideon. So that's what a pee looks like. Okay, Gideon. What? Okay, go pet him real good, Josiah. Fuss over him. Keep petting him. It's all up in. Oh, there he goes. No. Oh, it's dark. Okay, we'll do it again in an hour. It'll be Lily's turn. Okay, take him. Okay, take him, get in, and and dry him off. All right. Okay. All right, Phyllis. We're finally here. Just uh, how long did Moose have with her? He must have milked her completely out. 
Which is probably a good thing because then she won't get mastitis. If you milk just a little, she swell up because she, she's not full at all. <laughs> she's not full at all. You must have really got a good drink. This is the one I worry about because of everything that happened last night. Nice. Dissolves right in. That's what we want. Jonah, you gonna get Phyllis out? Do not get Moose out. I'll have to come help you with Moose, okay? All right. Not much milk from Phyllis either. Maybe a gallon. Now, how do I carry you guys? Two buckets and an umbrella. Maybe like this. Oh, wow. Wow, whoa, I'm doing it. I'm You know what? I, I'm thinking we might need to change our filters, but there's so little milk. It might not be worth it. All right, Josiah, we gotta get the calf out. Shoot, we go get our fence testers up in the column, and then meet me out there. And where's the where's the uh, where's the umbrella? There's the umbrella. Hey, Jonah. Jonah. I need you, buddy. We want to get Moose out there without him going nuts and going to his mama. Busting this fence again. My idea, she's out there, she's eating hay, right? She's eating hay. Mm -hmm. Let's rope halter him and try to walk him out there to the sheep. Think that'll work? Oh, gosh. You're, uh, you got out and you peed. All right. Jenna, document it for us. Hey, Jonah, you and Josiah have trained him well. <laughs> okay. He's going right with me. Not maybe because he wants to go this way. Come on. Yeah, I spoke too soon, didn't I? There we go. Yeah. 8.2, that's good. 9.0. See, the problem is, once they get out, they learn that. And they start breaking through it, even if it's on and hot. But I think we got it so hot, they're not gonna do it. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Skin milk. Hey, ladies. All right, everybody, we have three buckets and a pan, so everybody grab, a, grab one. Staying dry, ladies. This our garage, man. What's happening? No, come on. You guys clean that up while I clean up these buckets. L. -J. Oh, that's it. We only know who's who. Did he go, Josiah? Yeah. Sweet. How is it? Yucky. Everybody loves it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You love it, mom. We literally just ate brunch, and you're starting to cook again. Well, I'm making broth. That's how it goes, isn't it? Well, we drink five gallons of broth a week. Oh my, is she really? Is she gonna make everything bagels? From Danielle Walker? I know she's making broth. Are you making a pea puddle? It's time, it's two o'clock. Jonah went to get Lily, it's her turn. I'm editing. Don't you pee, I'm watching him. Look at you, I thought you were outside. Okay. Have you watered your plants today? No, but I'm going to, but when it's like this and it doesn't, the sun doesn't shine, oh, you we don't, don't need really them. need it. Okay. Really making these? I don't have enough yeast. Oh. Turn it you just throw all kinds of stuff in there. Whole chickens with meat, onions, heads. Head. <laughs> Even the heads. Feet. Nothing goes to waste. Where's the feet? Good gelatin in those feet. I'm trying to think of when I started. Wonder this. what the benefit of the head is. What's coming off of that? Um, gelatin. Gelatin. Mm -hmm. Out of the comb. Okay, I'm watching him because Lily's supposed to be coming over here. Here she is. Hey, Big Bird. Hi. Will we take uh, Mr. Teddy out? Mm -hmm. 
He just woke up from a nap, so he'll probably pee. I just love you so much. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going back to the grind. I don't think he'll jump that with the clip wings and all. I'm gonna go down and see how my, um, well, I wanna look at my strawberry plants. Everything looks super happy. Now let's check out in here. Got some weeds in here. <laughs> Next step is we need to harden them off. We were gonna do it starting today, but it rained this morning, so that didn't work. And I'm wondering if maybe I should take them out right now. Should I harden off my plants? Start that today? Yeah. Do you think that it's too cold? It just to help you. No. So I recorded on my way down here, but apparently it didn't. It didn't do it. So. I looked at the weather, I talked to Justin, and we decided that it's a go for me to get my seedlings out on this table to let them get a little bit of hardening off. So I'm gonna start doing that. All right, it's done. And I'm going back upstairs to check on my broth, see how it's going. 5.30, supper time. Mom, you crushed it. Our pork chops, it's so good. And baked beans and coleslaw. Do you people like it? It's a hit with Mr. Brown. Mm-hmm, glad. Oh, your broth, this is your broth from today? Uh-huh. It's not really broth, it's more meat stock. It's meat stock, sorry. I keep calling it that. It's okay. I'd shut down the vlog, but then Gideon reminded me. We gotta go get the cow eggs. Here, you wanna hold the egg basket? Can put these on for me? Sure, but we're just, we're not even going out away from the house. They're in the stall. Yeah, but I don't want to step on oh any too. Oh my, okay. Okay, I'll just go like this. You sure? Did the mama lay it? See him? Over there? Yeah, check him out. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the cow eggs. Are they real? No, they're chicken eggs, but it's kind of funny because this is where the cows go. A lot of eggs. Are you talking about real big cow eggs? Oh, you thought, <laughs> you thought I had big jack. Well, sorry to disappoint you. It's just a joke. <laughs> 7.30 at night. Look who's still in. I don't, you can barely see a moose is still in. 